Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you the devotion on the more grateful you are, the happier you will be. Philippians chapter 1, Philippians chapter 1, verse 3 says, Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Is Paul saying that all those who work with him, all those who are with him, they are very good, they are very kind, they are very loving. Most of them are, but there are one or two in his group or among his team or among his friends uh, in the ministry sometimes could be very hard to get along with. But you know what? Sometimes some of them will also disagree with him. Sometimes some of those will also confront him on certain issues in life. It's very common. But... Paul says, every time I think of them, I give thanks. Uh, I think of you, the Christians, you know, whether they're good or bad, you know, whether they are gentle or unkind, you know, or, or, or good. But Paul says, I give thanks for you. You know, if you want to have healthy relationships, start with an attitude of gratitude. One more time. If you want to have healthy relationships, Start with an attitude of gratitude. You will be far happier and enjoy your relationships more if you develop the habit of being grateful for the people in your life. Now, Paul did not say that to you and I, all these people are very good, very kind. They don't say things, they won't say things that will hurt you. Uh, uh, you know, they don't, you know, in no way they intentionally hurt you or offend you. He is not saying that people that intentionally or in, not non intention but he said every one of them are needed. They are needful in our lives and we need them. That's why he says to the church, the people in Philippi, he said, every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Why? The very thing that you can see your brother, your sister in Christ or your friends, you know what? You give thanks to God because you know why? God has a plan. God has a purpose for them in your life. Because God is using them to build you and I. God is using them to help us and develop us to be a better person. God is training you and I through them. But the, the sad thing is that, you know, when they confront us or they talk to us or they tell us on certain things about ourselves, we get angry. You know, nobody, nobody likes to be told and confronted and rebuke, you know, or told what to do and what not to do. But isn't it true, the Bible says, blessed are the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy. A true friend will tell you and I our faults, our mistake, our problem. A true friend will tell you what we are doing, where we are going, and how we are behaving, what we are saying is not good. That's a true friend. But an enemy is one who will kiss you and say to you, everything is okay, everything is okay, everything is okay. The simple truth is the foundation of good relationships. You know, this is the simple truth of a good relationship. Foundation is be grateful for one another. When you think of people in your life, is your first feeling gratitude? Or are you more likely to ask, why, what do they need to do for me? What are our problems? What do we have to get done between us in relationships? You know, most of the time, our first thoughts, you know, our first, first thought may not be gratitude. But Paul's first thought for his friends was one of gratitude. And it is the model we should follow if we want our relationships to last, to be better, to grow. He is not saying that our relationship with people around us are all good people, are all kind people, are all people who kisses us all the time and hug us all the time and support us all the time. No, no, Paul said everyone that come into our lives, we need to learn to be grateful and thankful that God is using them to work something in our life. God is using them, allowing them in my life to build something into my spirit. And God is doing something in my life because of them, helping me to be a better person. Now, here's the problem with many of us, why we don't like. The longer you know someone, the more likely you take that person 
for granted. With the passage of time, it becomes easier to focus on the person's faults, the, uh, uh, the person's failure, the person's uh, shortcoming, and also the bad times instead of the happy times. It's so true, you know, if you have clashed with somebody or you're unhappy with somebody, we always think about the bad times. We always think about the bad things. We always think about what the person did, what the person said. But we forgot there are so many good times, so many good things, so many blessed times in the past with this person, with that person, or with that group of people in our lives. So don't be foolish and allow the devil to deceive you and I just because of one thing, just because of two things, or just even because of three things. You know, the person said, the person acted, the person behaved uh, negatively or so on and so forth to destroy a relationship that is built years and years and years. That's why it takes effort on our part to choose to have an attitude of gratitude for the people in our lives. One more time, it takes effort on our part. We have to do it on our own. If every one of us were to do our part to choose to have an attitude of gratitude, you know what? For the people in our life, you realize that relationship is better. No matter what we go through, no matter what misunderstanding we have, disagreement we have, you know what? Relationship can be better. The longer our relationships last, the harder it may be to remember. But we experience an, uh, an external impact on our relationship when we develop the attitude of giving thanks to God, when we think of our spouses, our children, our parents, our siblings, our neighbors, our co-workers, our small group members, our church brothers and sisters in Christ, our leadership, and so on and so forth. It is very important when you and I learn to be grateful and thankful for them. You know why? If you and I don't learn to be grateful and thankful to them, you will be angry with everything they say and everything they do. And it will, if you don't deal with it and set it in your life, it will turn into... Our suspicions, you turn into anger, and later it turns into bitterness. And everything the people around us do, does, and say, we will have developed a critical spirit towards them, and it will kill relationships. So, you want to be uh, uh, happy in your life with people, even though they may not be the same as us, learn to be more grateful, and you will be able to be happier in life. Amen? Be grateful for them. Father, bless every one of us as we look to you in your word today. Teach us learn to be grateful so that we will be more happier as people in you. We pray that you'll bless us with a great day. Help us to choose an attitude of gratitude and begin to thank God for all those people you have placed in our lives that help us to grow and develop in you to be a better person. This we pray and this we ask in Jesus' name. You have a great day and God bless you.